This week we've been talking about what Jesus' resurrection on Easter means for our lives and we've saved the best to last. Listen, listen to what the Lord of life, Jesus, the living one, says about your life. So when you're feeling all alone and afraid like the women at the tomb, Jesus says to you, do not be afraid. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me and surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. When you feel like your life is pointless, like, like really nothing has meaning, that it's all futile, maybe even your faith. The living Jesus says to you, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. When death grabs you by the throat with your sins in the middle of the night and whispers, you too must die. Well, then listen to the living Jesus who taunts death as he says, where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? Because I live, you also will live. And that's the best part of Easter. Because Jesus got out of the grave, it means you will too. But I need to point out one more thing about the Easter account before we leave it. Uh, You see, all these promises that we've been talking about, they are true for all of you. But not just for all of you. They're true for each one of you individually. That when you read the accounts of Easter in the Bible, you'll notice something, something that's very comforting. When the angel tells the women, The angel says this, go and tell his disciples and Peter. In other words, not just his disciples, but make sure that you tell Peter personally. Peter, the one who denied Jesus and and, and doubted him. Think of what that would have meant to Peter when the women were telling them what they had saw and they said, oh yeah, Peter, and the angel wanted to make sure that we told you. And so today, Yes, I want to tell these promises to all of you, but I want to tell them to each one of you individually. So how are you going to walk away from Jesus' empty tomb today? How about this? Walk away from it the same way you will your own one day. Walk away with no fear for the future. Walk away with with absolute confidence uh, in your Father's love for you. Walk away with the, the sure knowledge and hope of heaven. Have you ever considered what you would want written on your epitaph? Well, because Jesus got out of the grave, because there are no bones there, your epitaph is going to read just like his. He is not here. He is risen. No bones in the grave means that you live. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, let me live every day with resurrection comfort until the day you call my body out of the grave to live with you forever. In your living name I pray. Amen. Hey everyone, it's Pastor Mike. As you were listening today, could you think of one person in particular in your life who could really use this message? I have a hunch if you take just a second, someone's name or face might pop into your brain. We'd love for you to share this episode so people just like that, that you love and that God loves, can learn more about God's love. So take a moment, share this episode with someone you care about. Thanks so much for spreading the good news of Jesus and have an amazing day.